The chairperson of the Kavango Conservancy and Community Forest Association, Max Muyemburuko, informed the Parliamentary Standing Committee that the community who live in the affected area only learned about the oil and gas exploration in November of last year. He also claimed that the few consultations which were held were not in the region's indigenous languages. The community members who reside in the area of the exploration, according to Muyemburuko, have been informed of an imminent relocation by officials of Recon Africa. The development which is in Kavango currently now, which Recon Africa doing, is taking land from farmers or land owners which they own customary without consultation. There is a, a move which is going around here. The land bill, communal land board, they are, they are planning to remove representative from conservancies and community forest from the land board or local land board. Matt Totten, a geologist and soil activist, also informed the committee of the long-term dangers the exploration and oil drilling will have in the Kavango. He presented alternatives to the committee. You can do a solar, wind and battery investment in the next 10 to 15 years. And then you will even have excess capacity to export your energy to places like South Africa where they are doing load shedding on a weekly basis right now. And because Namibia has so much sunlight, this is just a, a just Namibia more than any other country has potential to do this. Chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Natural Resources, Chekerotoya says the committee will have all stakeholders who are involved and affected to present their cases before the committee makes a recommendation to the National Assembly. As a committee, we are in a process of securing the services of an expert in the exploration field, being it from UNAM or NAST, to provide and assist by giving us professional guidance and advice on the committee throughout our work on the petition. MLC BEP, NBC News, Ventuk.